Have you ever wondered how efficient running a dog meat farm is and what the best dog to eat is? I sincerely hope not. RimWorld dogs come in three varieties, the Husky, Lab, and Yorkie. The Yorkshire Terrier is a small show dog that was bred to annihilate local rat populations. In RimWorld, these dogs can weigh up to 19 kilograms and can be slaughtered for 45 Yorkie meat and 20 dog leather. With a gestation period of 10 days, 24 days to mature, and 1.9 babies per litter, you're looking at 85.5 dog meat per liter or 2.51 meat per day. But that is not accounting for nutrition consumed during pregnancy and maturing. To calculate this, I average nutrition consumption as baby Yorkies mature since they require less nutrition the younger they are and added the nutrition consumed during pregnancy and corrected for the total nutrition produced. That is all to say that you'll lose 2.21 nutrition per liter of Yorkies grown to maturity. But in RimWorld, slaughtering baby animals is usually more economical, so I ran the numbers for newborn Yorkies as well and you would still lose 0.78 nutrition per litter. Not great, but not terrible, so let's take a look at the other good boys. The RimWorld Labrador comes in at 45 kilograms and can be slaughtered for 105 lab meat and 33 dog skin. This looks much better than the Yorkie variant, but labs consume almost three times the nutrition at 0.64, so let's check out the math here. Their gestation period is 10 days and they also have an average of 1.9 pups per litter, which would give us about 3 3.63 meat per day for adults and 4.94 meat for babies. Using the same calculations as before, adult labs are a net loss of 16.67 nutrition with their cuter counterparts being a net loss of 3.93 nutrition per litter. Now that's pretty shit, but what about huskies? Huskies give the most meat for dogs with 120 husky meat and 36 dog leather per harvest, but they also have the highest hunger requiring 0.8 nutrition per day for an adult. You can probably already see where this is going. 10 days of a gestation, 1.7 pups per litter all leads to 3.71 husky meat per day. For the adorable baby huskies, this comes out to 4.76 meat per day. For the adults, you're going to see a net loss of 23 nutrition and baby huskies are a net loss of 5.62 nutrition per litter. Now that all does sound bad, but having a net nutrition loss is actually not a bad thing. Most animals are a net negative but provide benefits like having a flexible diet, high value fur, or producing secondary products. Dog Dogs do have one redeeming feature in that they can eat corpses, so you could have a dog meat farm completely sustain itself off human bodies, but at that point you might as well raise pigs. So is a dog meat farm really worth it? What am I doing with my life? If you found this video educational, consider subscribing.